Biography of former Australian cricketer Ricky Thomas Pointing Part 1 Welcome to Mr. Biography YouTube channel. This video is about former Australian cricketer Ricky Thomas Ponting. Hope you will enjoy this educational based video and share it with your family and friends. Ricky Thomas Ponting was born on the 19th of December 1974. He is an Australian cricket coach, commentator, and former cricketer. Ricky Thomas Ponting was captain of the Australian national team during its golden era, between 2004 and 2011 in Test Cricket and 2002 and 2011 in One Day Internationals ODIs, and is the most successful captain in international cricket history, with 220 victories in 324 matches with a winning rate of 67.91%. Ricky Thomas Ponting is widely considered to be one of the best batsmen of the modern era and in December 2006 reached the highest rating achieved by a test batsman for 50 years, although this was surpassed by Steve Smith in December 2017. He stands third in the list of cricketers by number of international centuries scored, behind Sachin Tendulkar and Virat Kohli. Domestically Ricky Thomas Ponting played for his home state of Tasmania as well as Tasmania's Hobart Hurricanes in Australia's domestic 2020 competition, the Big Bash League. He played as a specialist right-handed batsman, an excellent slip fielder, as well as a very occasional bowler. Ricky Thomas Ponting led Australia to their second 5-0 Ashes win as well as victory at the 2003 and 2007 Cricket World Cups and was also a member of the 1999 World Cup winning team under Steve Waugh. He led Australia to consecutive ICC Champions Trophy victory in 2006 and 2009. Combative and at times a controversial captain, statistically he is one of the most successful test captains of all time with 48 victories and 77 tests between 2004 and the 31st of December 2010. As a player, Ricky Ponting is the only cricketer in history to be involved in 100 test victories and was involved in the most ODI victories as a player, with 262 wins, having played in over 160 tests and 370 ODIs. A prolific spatter, Ricky Thomas Ponting is Australia's leading run scorer in Test and ODI cricket. Ricky Thomas Ponting was named Cricketer of the Decade 2000 was named in the country's Best Ashes 11 in a Cricket Australia poll in 2017 and in July 2018 he was inducted into the ICC Hall of Fame. Ricky Ponting is the current assistant coach of the Australian national men's cricket team, having been appointed to the role in February 2019. Ricky Thomas Ponting announced his retirement from Test cricket in November 2012, the day before playing in his final test against South Africa, this was his 168th and last test appearance, equaling the Australian record held by Steve Waugh. He retired with a test batting average of 51.85, although he continued to play cricket around the world until 2013. Born in Launceston, Tasmania, on 19 December 1974, Ricky Ponting is the eldest of Graham and Lorraine Ponting's four children. Graham was a good club cricketer and played Australian rules football, while Lorraine was a state Vigoro champion. His uncle Greg Campbell played Test cricket for Australia in 1989 and 1990. Ricky Ponting's parents first lived in Prospect 4.1 km south of city centre, however, they moved into the working class area of Newnham. 6 kilometers north of central Launceston. After marrying his longtime girlfriend, law student Triana Cantor, in June 2002, Ricky Thomas Ponting credited her as the reason for his increased maturity. The couple have three children. Introduced to cricket by father Graham and uncle Greg Campbell, Ricky Thomas Ponting played for the Mowbray under 13s team at the age of 11 in 1985-86. In January 1986, Ricky Thomas Ponting took part in the five-day annual Northern Tasmania Junior Cricket Competition. After scoring four centuries in a week, bat manufacturer Kookaburra gave Ponting a sponsorship contract while in just eighth grade mainly on the back of these four centuries. Ricky Thomas Ponting took this form into the under-16s week-long competition less than a month later, scoring an even century on the final day. 
Ted Richardson, the former head of the Northern Tasmanian Schools Cricket Association said, Ricky is certainly the equal of David Boone at this level. Australian rules football was also a big part of Ricky Ponting's sporting life, and is a keen follower of the North Melbourne Kangaroos. During the winter Ricky Ponting played junior football for North Launceston and up until he was 14, it could have become a possible sporting option. This was before he broke the humerus in his right arm playing for North Launceston under-17s as a 13-year-old. Ricky Thomas Ponting's arm was so badly damaged, it had to be pinned. Told to endure a 14-week layoff, he never played competitive football again. During Tasmanian Sheffield Shield matches at the ONTCA ground, Northern Tasmanian Cricket Association ground, Ricky Thomas Ponting helped out with the scoreboard, thereby surrounding himself with international cricketers. After leaving school at the end of year 10 in 1990, he began work as a groundsman at Scotch Oakburn College, a private school in Launceston. In 1991 the Northern Tasmanian Cricket Association sponsored Ricky Pointing to attend a fortnight's training at the Australian Cricket Academy in Adelaide. The two weeks turned into a full two-year sponsorship as he was said to be the best 17-year-old batsman academy coach Rod Marsh had ever seen. Playing five games for Tasmania for the 1992 Under-19 Carnival in Perth, Ricky Thomas Ponting scored 350 runs, earning him selection in the 13-man national under-19 development squad for the upcoming tour of South Africa, the first Australian cricket team to make an official tour to the country since Bill Lowry's team in 1970. Ricky Ponting made his first class debut for Tasmania in November 1992, when just 17 years and 337 days old becoming the youngest Tasmanian to play in a Sheffield Shield match. However, he had to wait until 1995 before making his ODI debut, during a quadrangular tournament in New Zealand in a match against South Africa. His test debut followed shortly after, when selected for the first test of the 1995 home series against Sri Lanka in Perth, in which Ricky Pointing scored 96. He lost his place in the national team several times in the period before early 1999, due to lack of form and discipline, before becoming one-day international captain in early 2002 and test captain in early 2004. After scoring 114 not out in club match against Triverside, Ponting became the youngest player to appear for Tasmania in a Sheffield Shield match, breaking Boone's record by 14 days. In November 1992, with Ricky Ponting just 17 years and 337 days, Ricky Thomas Ponting went to the crease at number 4 against South Australia at the Adelaide Oval. Despite scoring 56 in a 127-run partnership with Boone, he could not prevent a defeat, scoring just 4 in Tasmania's second innings. In his first match in Tasmania, this time against New South Wales, Ricky Thomas Ponting contributed 32 and 18 in a draw. He followed this up with 25 against Western Australia in a narrow loss. His first match in Sydney also marked the debut of future Australian opening bowler Glenn McGrath. His subsequent century also meant that Ricky Ponting became the youngest Tasmanian to score a first-class century at 18 years and 40 days, eclipsing Boone's record of 19 years and 356 days. After scoring another half-century, Ricky Ponting scored back-to-back -back centuries against Western Australia on Australia's fastest wicket in Perth. Ricky Thomas Ponting became the youngest batsman in Shield history to score twin centuries in a match. After setting a goal of scoring 500 runs in the season, Ricky Ponting ended up scoring 781 at 48.81. After season's end, Ponting played seven four-day games for the Australian Academy, scoring 484 runs at 96.70, even though Ricky Ponting was still only 18. Speculation ignited that Ricky Ponting was an outsider to join the Australian squad on their 1993 tour to England. Despite Ricky Ponting's reluctance to weigh into the debate, Tasmanian coach Greg Shippard thought he could handle the experience. The selectors ended up choosing Western Australian batsman Damien Martin for the tour, with Ricky Ponting selected in the academy squad captained by Justin Runga, 
which toured India and Sri Lanka for seven games in August to September 1993. Australian success was limited, with only several wins. No batsman scored a century, despite Ponting reaching 99 not out in a one-day game in Colombo. Ricky Ponting finished the tour second highest in the aggregates, behind Ringa, before the start of the 1993-94 Sheffield Shield season. Ricky Thomas Ponting stated that he wanted to score a 1,000 runs for the season. In Tasmania's final match of the season, they needed to defeat South Australia outright to qualify for the final. Set 366 in 102 overs, Ricky Thomas Ponting scored 161 in a 290-run partnership that ended with Tasmania needing just 41 runs for victory. Despite Tasmania losing four quick wickets, they won with four wickets in hand. Disappointingly for Ponting, he could not repeat the performance in the final against New South Wales, scoring just 1 and 28, as Tasmania were defeated by an innings and 61 runs. 44, the season saw Ponting score 965 runs at 48.25, close to his 1,000 run goal. A month after the final, Ricky Thomas Ponting was again selected for the academy squad for three limited overs matches against a touring Indian team. Queenslander Stuart Law captained the Australian side that included former Australian keeper Rod Marsh. In Australia's victory in Canberra Ricky Ponting top scored with 71 and before scoring 52 in victory in Sydney. The last match was also successful for the home team, with Ricky Ponting not required to bat. Ricky Thomas Ponting started his 1994-95 campaign with a century against eventual Shield champions Queensland in Brisbane, impressing Queensland captain Alan Border. He's just an outstanding prospect, Border said. Speculation again arose that Ricky Ponting could become a candidate for the upcoming tour to the West Indies. When Tasmania played Western Australia at Bell Reef Oval on the 4th of November 1994, Ricky Thomas Ponting scored 211. The century was his fifth successive against Western Australia, Sir Donald Bradman is the only other batsman to score five consecutive centuries against another state in Shield history. Ten days after the double century, Ricky Thomas Ponting was named in the Australian eleven to take on England at Belgrave Oval, in a match that was used as practice before the upcoming series in the West Indies. Future Australian representatives Matthew Hayden, Ringa, Greg Blewett and Martin were also selected. In a drawn match Ricky Ponting compiled a half-century. A fourth team was introduced to the World Series Cup in 1994-95 Australia A for the only time. Australian captain Mark Taylor was not a fan of this change as many fans supported Australia rather than the national team. Despite the negative feedback it gave Ricky Ponting a chance on the international stage. Playing for Australia A, he scored 161 runs at 26.83 with one half century. Ricky Ponting's domestic performances were rewarded when he was selected for the Australian ODI team to play in all the matches in the 1995 New Zealand Centenary Quadrangular Tournament in New Zealand, that also included South Africa and India. Ricky Ponting made his debut against South Africa at number 6 in the batting order. He scored one from six balls, as Australia successfully chased South Africa's target on a difficult batting track. Australia secured another victory in their next match, this time against New Zealand in Auckland, where Ricky Ponting scored 10 not out, after coming to wicket late in the innings. His highest series score came in the third international where Australia lost to India in Dunedin. Ricky Thomas Ponting was promoted to number 3 in the batting order and responded by scoring 62 from 92 balls. The innings was scored without a boundary and was based on deft placement and judicious running. Thanks a lot for watching our professional Mr. Biography YouTube channel. You can help us to promote our Mr. Biography YouTube channel by like comment share and subscribe Mr. Biography YouTube channel. Thanks for watching full video about former Australian cricketer Ricky Thomas Ponting. Part 2nd will be soon after 1st 1st. Stay in touch.